Hello, is this Professor Stavros? Hi, uh, Professor Stavros, this is Steve. Yes, it's been such a long time. I'm fine, thank you. I'm planning to take a trip to Greece. Will you be in Athens in the next couple of days? Stavros, hi. How was your flight? Good, good. A bit bumpy, but uh, <laughs> let's have a coffee. Okay. Steve, it's been so long. How have you been? How come you're here? Again, many condolences for your grandfather. Thank you. I remember his stories about his days here in Athens. He was a soldier during the war, yeah? Yep. Those, um, those stories always had a dose of melancholy. Yeah. <laughs> but I have a question. How can anyone feel melancholic under this sun? I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> you know, stories are stories. It's the time of when they took place compared to the time of when they are told and makes them melancholic or not. Yes, Mr. History Professor. <laughs> I, um, I have fond memories of your classes. I remember you always used to get on that other sub-teacher's nerves for, for never taking sides in his class. What was his name, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Moulat. Mr. Moulat, that's it. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, Stavros, the reason I'm here is because I came across something in my grandfather's belongings and uh, I need your help. Honestly, I don't know what this is. But as soon as I saw it, I called you. Now, as a professor, can you interpret this map in any way? Your grandfather drew this? This is an old photograph, maybe 1940s, 45. And this, this could be anywhere. Okay, it's a street map. It will be difficult, difficult to find the spot with no reference, but even if it was a rooftop drawing from above, uh, this wouldn't work, because everything looks different from above. That's true. Obviously, we don't know who this is. No. What I'm curious about is this X, this cross. It's a spot, it's a mark. Well, and these lines. This could be anywhere. Wait a minute. Uh, give me your map. You know, Athens is an ancient city and it's, it is within history where the truth may be found once you... Exclude, exclude the obvious, yes. yes, I remember, but listen, I mean, it could be anywhere. I don't I, I have I, an I, idea. I... Come on, let's go. Time for a walk. Wait, let's wait. go. Wait, Stavros. What's the matter? This place feels familiar. Maybe the heat has got to you. Come on. My place is around the corner. Let's rest and we'll continue afterwards. Oh, 
Here we are. My mother is at work and my sister... Uh, do you remember her? She's probably sleeping or taking care of my grandmother. She's 92 years old and deaf. Wow. What's the secret? The secret is to say yes to everything she might say. <laughs> Maria? Maria? This is Steve. Maria, my sister. Nice to meet you. Hi. I have to do something. Make yourself comfortable. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, what happened? Yeah, yeah. What happened? Did you say anything to her? No, no. I was sleeping and she woke me up shouting. What is that? Who did you find? Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I'm sorry. Ian, who is Stavros? Ian was my grandfather. Yes, Stavros. Who is Stavros? Where is this? Stavro! Stavro! Stavros was her husband, my grandfather. He died in the war. Unfortunately, nobody ever found him. My grandmother found out that she was pregnant the day he went missing. We don't even have a photograph to see what he looked like, not even a trace of whatever happened to him. During the occupation, the dead were just swept away. This is I, Georgis, protector of the soldiers. Hmm. Very nice. Look, Glambra, my favorite plant. Hold on. 
I'll come back. I'll come back. Βρήκα στον Αγιώργη, παλικάρι μου, ησύχασε η ψυχή μου. 